Cancers! Welcome to your love reading July 24th to the 31st for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session that I do and the pre-shuffle with the cards already laid out, then I go ahead and get into your reading. Uh, so first and foremost, guys, this is a tarot card reading for guidance and entertainment. Uh, it's not going to resonate with everybody, and that's okay. It's just representing uh, what's going on. I'm just the messenger, and these are just opportunities. You are the master of your own life. You do what you will with it, okay? All right, Cancer. So I love your energy right now. Oh my God, Cancer. I freaking love you. Uh, I feel like you're setting the record straight for some people and you're doing it with a smile. <laughs> I love it. I so love it, Cancer. Um, and I think that's actually the best approach to this. They actually showed me a comb and I was like, okay, well, that's pretty clear cut. You're really straighten out a situation. You're, you're, there's been a mess of things is actually what I'm getting. And Cancer, I feel like people have just gotten the wrong idea about whatever's gone on in this situation or maybe some things you've said maybe some things you've done people have the wrong idea and i do feel like you're dealing with some low vibrational people who've really made a mess of things really have made a mess of things um and you're just speaking truth <laughs> you're just speaking truth you're just straightening it out and you're just like hmm, yep yeah, that's that that is that yes i did say that i did say that and you're doing it with quite a smile it's like no one can say shit to you to get your vibration down right now and it feels really really good it feels really good and cancer because of that i feel like you are in a very high vibrational energy and people are taking notice i feel like you <laughs> sorry guys need a minute oh no mm. Mm. okay i feel like people are really attracted to you right now really attracted to you and especially with whatever tea you're spilling or whoever it is you're giving a little talking to to um it's like there it starts off a little tumultuous like it starts off with um them giving you some negative energy and maybe even accusing you a little bit of like well i heard this and i saw this or i saw that it could even be just between you and a love a love interest but i feel like it's with multiple people okay could even be family and you're just like well this is what actually happened <laughs> you know it's like people might even say some really horrible things to you and you just have like the best comebacks you know uh the best comebacks i forgot what I okay what was I watching? I can't even remember now. Okay, I can't remember what I was watching, but I was, while I was not so well yesterday, um, I was watching a reality, oh, I was watching America's Next Top Model. <laughs> I grew up on that show, I'm not gonna lie, and I didn't know it was on Hulu, and I'm like, oh, how could I not revisit this? Couldn't even tell you what season it was, but, um, like, one of the girls was, like, trying to force their, like, religious beliefs on another, or some bullshit like that, um, basically like reiterating a, like a verse like a bible verse of like trying and it's like no hey look you believe in whatever you want to believe in i think everyone should believe in whatever they want to believe in if you are religious hey to each their own you know i am not about judging anybody about religion but this person was judging this other person because they weren't religious and they were trying to make their point of like why they should be religious which is very rude i mean you just don't do that with anything even beyond religion but anyway and she was basically reiterating a verse. I couldn't even tell you what the verse was. And I've, I've never studied the Bible, so I couldn't tell you what verse it was. But it was basically alluding to, like, you know, like, if you don't believe in God, you know, this, that, or the other, some horrible things happen to you. I can't remember the verse. Sorry, guys. And she said something back of, like, like aren't you like not supposed to judge other people like isn't that what your religion tells you you know it's just like it's the best comeback which is just true right anyway i really hope i didn't offend anybody with that little commentary but that's basically just an example of the kind of energy and tea that you're serving to people right it's like you can say whatever you want it's not going to get me down it's not going to get me down it's not going to stop me from being high vibrational it's not going to stop me from doing whatever the hell i want to do <laughs> right <laughs> right cancer um and like i said i do feel like you're getting a lot of attention i do feel like this lazarus season that we are still very much in uh is still bringing a lot of people up back back up to you and cancer i feel like you've done a lot in the last few months a lot and i feel like you've come into a i guess at a higher vibration a lot of you have come to a lot of success as well regarding work and just feeling really damn good about yourself and so you have changed a lot since some of these people have interacted with you so they don't really know how to like they don't really understand like how to approach you differently so they're kind of approaching you the same way and i feel like it's backfiring on some of these people and others of you are having some love interest kind of come up here which feels really yummy all right so let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle 
So we have High Priestess in reverse, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. You could be a Gem Cancer cusp. Uh, two of Swords in reverse, Libra energy. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Could also be Earth or Water. Death in reverse. I love saying it like that. <laughs> in reverse, Scorpionic energy with the Ace of Wands. Page of Wands in reverse with the Knight of Wands. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo with the Three of Cups, Cancerian energy. Then we end, uh, wait a minute. What? Oh, that's so funny. I thought this was death. It's the devil. Because <laughs> so I was like, wait, we can't have two death cards in the same deck. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was my bad. Devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. And the Ace of Wands. Doesn't it look like it should be death, though? Like, if you didn't see that, that like, doesn't that kind of look like death? It's just, it's such intense imagery. Anyway, Devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. And then we have death, which came out very separate, like, on its own, which tells me it's more about the energy that you're dealing with cancer as opposed to a person or an event this is just kind of the energy at play for you very scorpionic so cancer um some shit's coming out like i said you're spilling tea you're spilling truth here and people don't like it people don't like it they don't really know how to respond to it okay and i do feel like it's about some deci decisions that have happened but it's interesting because and decisions you've made decisions you've made, some things you, that you might have said or maybe not have said. I do feel a lot of rumors, Cancer, regarding this. A lot of just like misconstrued, misconstrued truth. That was really hard to say. Misconstrued truth around you, your name, your reputation. And you're just setting the record straight. You're just setting it straight. You're like, I did this because of this. Uh, I didn't do that. That person did that. You know, I almost feel like you're also getting blamed for other people's actions as well, Cancer, for some of you, not all of you. This could be in work, family, or love. With well, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like you're basically telling people that whatever decisions you made that might have upset people, you did it for you. It's like, uh, I'm doing all my shit for me. Like, I'm sorry I put me first. I'm sorry I'm working on my self-growth. I'm sorry I'm working on my abundance. Sorry, not sorry right? It's very much that. Like some people who I think have been very codependent on your energy, which cancers you do deal with as an issue. People become very dependent on cancerian energy sometimes. People who are not healthy, okay? People who are healthy don't get dependent on people. But people who have a lot of growing to do get very codependent on your energy. Like, you know, they just love that yummy healing energy. It's just a, it's just a cancerian gift. It's just the gift of cancers. Um, and you're like, I'm, I put me first because I'm supposed to put me first right? Like you're not supposed to be attached to me. Like if this is a romantic partner, for example, or even just a really good friend, you're not supposed to be attached to me. We have a relationship with two people. We don't have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we're not one energy where you can just suck the life out of me, right? It's like, I put me first because I'm supposed to put me first. That's this kind of energy. And with devil in reverse and the ace of wands, this is release. Oh, I love it. Cancer, releasing codependency releasing codependent bonds, releasing codependent bonds. I'm also getting this energy of someone wanting to revive and bring some passion back into a situation. This could be between you and a lover by, 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 by. I don't know why I'm stuttering. I do not know why I'm stuttering. That was weird. Why can't I finish that sentence? <laughs> For some, there is someone trying to revive a situation here okay i do feel that energy i think that's why i felt this as death energy because it feels a little bit like a revival but this is basically you're breaking away from codependency issues that other people have placed on you and if you have your own codependency issues you've grown past that because you have some of you have done a lot of growth you've grown past that you're on your way you're excited about what's coming ahead um and you're excited about the healthy kind of state of being that you have right now and there's nothing wrong with that Nothing wrong with that. I do also feel, not you, but maybe someone in your energy field is trying to get healthy as well. Like you're kind of acting as an inspiration for some people, you are. For some people, they're very much inspired by you and what you've been able to do for yourself here, okay? So not everyone's a hater, not everyone's hating on you, but quite a people, few people are calling you, trying to call you out on shit that you either didn't do or stuff that they got a lot of wrong information about, okay? So we have that page of wands in reverse, the knight of wands and the three of cups. So I'm actually getting the gossip here too. I'm getting gossip here too. Um, okay, what the hell's going on with this? Cause this is cancer. This is definitely someone coming in for some fun time. I'm just gonna say fun time and whatever that means for you. I do get a little bit of party energy here. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay, I, I, I get it. I'm getting a few things. So cancer, some of you might get an invitation to hang out with friends. 
to hang out with friends, to go to a social event of some kind, and then you're going to find out people are gossiping about you, which is when you're going to be straightening some shit out, right? Um, so, oh, 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 hell no, cancer. Some people are talking shit and saying that you're basically promiscuous and throwing your energy all over the place, which I do not think is true. I do not think that's true. I think that's what some of these rumors are about. Like, what's Cancer really up to? Why are they really, like, not saying this? Why are they doing that? Oh, I heard Cancer was doing this. Oh, I heard Cancer did that. Like, it's very, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Yeah, some of you are going to go to a party that you were invited to, and you're going to find out that people have been saying that you've been, you know, spreading your shit all over town, which ain't true. Um, you might also catch wind of someone trying to come your way. Page of Wands in Reverse can be a bad news card for me. It can be a bad news card for me. Someone who really just likes to be around you just to have fun. So be mindful of that, Cancers, because you are very attractive right now. There's someone trying to come in who really just wants to, like, booze you up, love you up, and then enjoy that, and then bye bye You know, very much that energy. But then we have this death card here, Scorpionic energy, a lot of transformation. Cancer, you, like I said, you've changed a lot. Oh my god, that's so funny. There's a moon in the background. Cancer, you've changed a lot. And you're basically setting the record straight and showing people how you've changed. Oh, come back. How you've changed, how you've grown, how you've put an end to the bullshit relationships. And some of you, because of all of this tea spilling, you're going to be cutting some people out, Cancer. Some people that you're just like, wow, you'd really believe that about me? Or wow, you've really been talking this much shit about me? I don't need to deal with you anymore. I'm better than that. I'm better than that. I vibrate higher than that. I don't need your low vibrational ass around me. <laughs> Very much that kind of energy. Ooh, Cancer, you got a lot going on. Hope you guys had a good birthday season. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Jesus, I think that's the longest pre-shuffle explanation I've done. We're 12 minutes in. Any messages for Cancers regarding love? Maybe I should do like two videos, like the pre-shuffle video and the actual reading. <laughs> uh, I guess some people could argue I could just make the pre-shuffle a reading, but you know, sometimes it's just that the reading you get a lot more healing messages. Any messages for Cancer regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Any messages for Cancer? Any messages for Cancer regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Yeah, Cancer, be careful who you share information with. I feel like a lot of people are taking your words, like between conversations you have with, with you and someone, and it's like they go and talk to other people and totally change it around. Totally change it around. King of Wands, Leo energy, it could be a Cancer Leo Cusper. This is also fire and air. So we're starting out with a character here, starting out with a character card. I'm loving this King of Wands energy. You know, when as someone who reads energy, every card can be so different from reading to reading. This feels really good. This feels like someone who's very stable and very comfortable in their own skin. Cancer, I feel like this is your energy, actually. Yeah, I'm feeling like this is your energy. You're feeling very stable. You're feeling very confident. You're feeling very, like get up and go as well it's like you're ready to like take on the world a little bit some of you are, are entrepreneurs or trying to become entrepreneurs um i'm getting a lot of creativity as well cancers uh really harness that right now really harness your creativity it's really going to work in your favor you're also feeling very alpha whether you're male or female you're feeling very alpha you're feeling very no one can touch you no one can touch you no one can knock you off of where you you built yourself up to be any, ooh, 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 who's this? King of Cups. <laughs> Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Oh, these are, this is, oh, Cancer, this is so interesting. This is two, these are two different people. This is you and another person. An equal, an equal. Some of you are starting a business relationship with an equal here, okay? Could be a Scorpio, doesn't have to be, but it's like, it's so interesting with that water and fire. Usually water and fire energies don't go well together. But with this King of Wands energy that you're in, Cancer, it feels like a mellowed out fire energy. It feels very grounded. It doesn't feel, because with fire energy, it's great for creating, which is why you're in it, because you are feeling very creative. It's great for creating, which is why you're harnessing it, but sometimes fire can easily burn out because they're trying to do a lot at once. 
you're not there it's like you're pacing yourself you're pacing yourself this king of cups energy is also very emotionally stable it's almost like you're bringing in the ideas cancer and whoever this person is they're helping you nurture that helping you grow that oh i love it i really like it because usually water would put out fire really quickly i do feel oh okay cancer i'm loving this person i'm just saying i'm loving this person they help pace you because you're harnessing such leo energy it is easy to burn out it is easy to get ahead of yourself but because this person's all about emotional nourishment and balance this king of cups they help pace your ideas and help pace your creativity this might be a business partnership and it can definitely be romance related let's see what else we got here and you're both alphas you're both alphas for sure but this king of cups feel this king of cups could either be older than you or just more life experience just more life experience than you any other messages for cancer regarding love july 24th july what did i hear i said july but i heard june there might be something about june at play for you guys but your cancers could have been your birthday <laughs> any messages for cancer regarding love july 24th to the 31st I, i'm loving these two kings together i feel like Whatever you two are doing, business or romance or both, you know, there's always that there's always that scenario or both, whatever it is you're doing, there's something about your energy that people really like. So if you two are ever like out and about, people are just like like, <laughs> like they just have to look. They just got to check you guys out even if they don't say anything. It's interesting. You're very uh magnetic together. Any other messages for Cancer? Ooh. Ooh, I just got the chills. Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. I'm not liking that. Ooh, I'm not liking that, Cancer. I feel like this is other people at pl Oh, really? Okay. For some of you, this energy, this Ten of Swords in reverse, I feel like this is energy being thrown at the two of you. That's why people are talking so much shit. <laughs> That's why people are talking so much shit. That's why there's so many rumors that you're having to straighten out. People actually don't want you to, to do whatever it is you're doing. People don't want to see your energies mixing together. They don't like it. They don't like it. That's why people are just talking shit, making up lies, making up bullshit. And Cancer, you're so high vibrational, you're just setting it straight with a smile. Any other messages for Cancer regarding love? July 24th to the 31st. All right, let's see what we have here. Whoa. Two of Cups, Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy. Oh, sorry, that was so weird. Um, uh, sorry, that was weird. I, I picked this up and I swear to God, I went right to Hawaii with that mountain range. I'm sure it's just a personal thing for me. Like, don't even worry about that. But that looks so much like Kualoa a little bit. A little bit for those who've been there just this part it just flat it just totally took me there for a minute that was crazy maybe that's going to resonate for some of you but i think that was really just a personal trigger of mine anyway four of pentacles in reverse capricorn energy i'm getting acceptance actually with this because four of pentacles in reverse that's about not clinging on to old ways of thinking not clinging on to things like letting things flow Letting things flow, letting things happen as they should, going with the flow, being being cool about shit, right? I feel like this is about acceptance of the connection. Cancer, this is interesting. I'm loving where this is going. Overall, you have the King of Swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. This is really bringing in truth and clarity to the situation. And like I said, you're spilling tea to people. You're definitely spilling tea to people. Um, I also feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, I also feel like this is um, an energy of those people who kind of want this, whatever you have with this person, business or love or otherwise, to not happen. It's like a lot of coldness and a lot of strategy, a lot of plotting. It's like, again, the gossip and rumors and bullshit, right? A lot of plotting to try and get you two separated here. I mean, look at the way you two sit. I mean, it's amazing. You're just, bloop, like you're just right there, right at the hip, energetically speaking. Even if you're separate geographically, it's like energetically, you're right at the hip. It's like, it just works. Chocolate peanut butter. It just works. Like Jack and Coke. It just works. <laughs> it just works. And you're spilling the truth about it and, and really having no qualms about it either. 
which is exactly what you need to do, I think, in this situation. All right, so I'm loving these two energies. I'm dying to go into it, but I don't think it's, it's necessary, Cancer. If you're resonating with this, you already know who this is about. If, you, if this is resonating with you, you already know what this is about. You two are equals. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. One is very creative, has a lot of ideas, and the other one is very nurturing and paces, paces, I feel like they're pacing you, but it could be vice versa. The King of Cups paces the King of Wands in their creativity, making them quite a di dynamic duo here. Both are very grounded. Both are very grounded. This King of Cups, though. Hmm. This King of Cups, because they have more life experience, and they're also incredibly intuitive as well, it's almost like they can see the next 10, 20 steps. Well, you, Cancer, who I feel like you are more in the King of Wands, it's vice versa, it's vice versa. Um, you can't really see that, but you're you're very intuitive. So this could be vice versa and you could be the King of Cups. Take it as it resonates. But the King of Cups helps the King of Wands plan. That's what it is. The King of Cups helps the King of Wands kind of plan shit out with their creativity because they can see so much further ahead because they're older, have more life experience, and they're more intuitive. It's very... it's. It's a dynamic duo. Anyway, let's look at this Ten of Swords in reverse and these jealous haters. <laughs> Tell me about the Ten of Swords in reverse. For Cancer. Regarding love. July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about Ten of Swords in reverse. For Cancer. Regarding love. July 24th to the 31st. Mm. people are definitely up to no good regarding your connection not everyone not everyone but some people are actually i feel like going through major lengths and efforts to just get you two away from each other it was 20 what was that 21 12 oh, i don't know i actually can't see very well anyway eight of pentacles in reverse virgo energy if that'll focus there we go eight of pentacles in reverse virgo energy this is unfocused energy very unproductive energy <clears throat> let's see what else we got out here wow two of cups can't Syrian energy cancers you know some of you with this king of cups king of wands duo whoever this king of cups is to you or whoever this king of wands is to you if you're a cross watcher whatever um i feel like because there were so many energies trying to get you two away from each other some of them might have been successful okay in doing that to the point where there was no energy being put into this connection it's that same two of cups where we end up with acceptance. Wow, interesting. Okay, tell me more about this ten of swords in reverse. So for some of you cancers, they were successful, but I think it's coming back up because it's getting straightened out. It's getting straightened out. Tell me about ten of swords in reverse. Yeah, damn it. Six of wands in reverse. Jupiter, Leo energy. Lack of success. People wanted you two to fail. And for some, they did succeed. Which I'm just kind of like, how? Because you two are so, oh my God. So, so, I mean, just look at the energy for a minute. You two are such a duo that I'm like, how? Like, how? How could that happen? How could that be allowed to happen? Oh, my guides just yelled fear at me. Okay. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, fear. Let's see what else we got. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords in reverse. For Cancer, regarding love. July 24th to the 31st. I'm getting fear, threat. Oh, Cancer, you or I don't think it's you. It must be the other person. There was a little bit of blackmail going on in this too. For some of you. Tell me about Ten of Swords in reverse for Cancer. Wow. Five of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy for this Ten of Swords in reverse. I'm getting regret. Major, major regret. Major regret. Underneath that, we do have the Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. Feeling very stuck in that. One of you, one of you, succumb? Succumb? I don't know how to conjugate that verb for this sentence. Um, one of you gave in to this fear, to the lies, to the gossip, to the bullshit. One of you gave in and believed it others it's like the giving in was because they were getting blackmailed honest to god 
because they were getting blackmailed and they're living with a lot of regret about it a lot of regret and in a, and in a place of like I, I i gotta do something about this like i can't like yeah i can't believe i did that i can't believe i gave in can't believe i listened to them can't believe i allowed this to happen and in a place of i have to do something I have to do something. And then we move into a two of cups with the four of pentacles in reverse. Let's look at the four of pentacles in reverse and see what we get off of that, okay? Um, let's use gilded. Cancer, I feel like for a lot of you, this is romance related, but again, for some of you, it is just pure business. And a couple of y'all, it's in between, it's both. <laughs> to say it's mixing business with pleasure. Um, there's a lot of love here for this for those who this is a romance. There's a lot of love. A lot of love. Tell me about the four of pentacles in reverse. Tell me about four of pentacles in reverse for cancer. Regarding love. July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about four of pentacles in reverse. For Cancer, regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Others of you, if there was never a rift created, I think the efforts became so extreme that you two isolated yourselves from, from everyone else. You know, for those where none of you gave in to getting pulled apart. Um, and the people who tried and tried and tried are actually the ones who are living with this regret. They're the ones living with this regret like, damn why did I go down that road like like damn why did like why did we really like wh why did why were we against this you know because the energies have had a major shift recently yeah for those where there was no rift where you guys just hung on to each other believed each other supported each other and did what you had to do everyone else is regretting it even though you had to isolate yourselves from them tell me about four of pentacles in reverse for cancer okay <clears throat> tell me about four of pentacles in reverse <laughs> oh interesting now we have a queen of wands energy here which is um aries energy it could also be fire or water hmm okay tell me about four of pentacles in reverse <clears throat> for cancer oh god cancer there's a lot of truth telling going on here um for you guys who are resonating with this tell me about four of pentacles in reverse there's a lot of truth needing to be spoken from a lot of parties, especially those that were just like gossiping and making up shit. Tell me about four of pentacles in reverse. Tell me about four of pentacles in reverse. Oh, wow. Tell me about four of pentacles in reverse. Well, I got two cards out here. Six of pentacles came out. Five of Pentacles just came out. Tell me about Four of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, wow. Oh, Cancer. Okay, we got four cards for the clarifiers. We'll get into it. Overall energy for the Four of Pentacles in reverse. We have Nine of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy underneath that. We've got the Tower. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence here. This acceptance, the energy surrounding it, is basically I'm not living with this disappointment anymore. I'm not living with this regret anymore. If your partner basically succumb, succumb. What I can't, I can't. If your partner gave in to the bullshit, or if the if you guys had to separate yourselves and it's this group, right? Like I'm not gonna live with this kind of regret and disappointment anymore. Bringing in the tower for acceptance. Okay. Then we have the clarifying energies here. We have the Queen of Wands the six of pentacles, the five of pentacles, and the 10 of cups here, okay? Uh, this queen of wands energy, you know, it's really interesting, Cancer, because like I said, I was picking up on these two different energies and both very alpha, both in masculine energy. I feel like this is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the feminine side of the person who succumbed to this, the person who gave into this, who gave, who gave into the gossip, the lies, the rumors, the bullshit, the blackmail, uh, it's also for those where there was no giving in. It's just representing the group that tried to do this to you. Uh, that six of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This is making shit right. 
this is making sure right this is giving energy back to a situation where it was basically abandoned rejected no energy was given but ten of cups like that's how amazing this little dynamic duo is that you're a part of cancer it brings in a ten of cups energy but not just for you but for the people around you again i'm gonna say that again your connection and whatever it is you're doing business or love or otherwise not only does it bring the ten of cups to you and this person but it also brings ten of cups energy to the people around you okay it raises the vibration of other people so because you're vibrating so high cancer that's also why you've had to cut some people away because when you have someone who's very high vibrational come into the space of people who are incredibly low vibrational instead of helping to raise the low vibrational people's energy it just triggers the shit out of them and makes them act out like gossip rumors the blah, 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 bullshit right really makes them act out so that's why you had to cut some people away okay so just keep that in mind but this is basically making things right and giving energy back into a situation that really deserves it is really healing in a situation that only brings ultimate happiness wow wow cancer oh my god all right so let's go ahead and get into these uh into the advice here cancer i don't think you need it like i said it's like you're just speaking your truth you're speaking your truth. You're, you've got some good comebacks for people right now. <laughs> and you have no you have no qualms about it. You have no qualms about it. You, you know you've only done the right thing for yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that. Any advice for cancers? Regarding this spread. Especially with that gossiping, guys. You're going to find out, like, not only who your true supporters are, but also... Um, because of that, you're also going to find out people who are just like, oh my God, that wasn't true. Whoa, I can't believe they did that to you. Right? So you're going to really siphon through in your groups. Like that's the shit talker. And those are the people who really have my back, you know? Any advice for cancer regarding this spread? Any advice for Cancer regarding this spread? All right, let's see what we have here. <laughs> oh, wow. Seahorse Spirit, watch and wait, 53, breaking down to an 8, and Electric Eel Spirit, bring ideas to life with the energy of 24, breaking down to a 6, manifesting. Manifesting... Ten of Cups, manifesting emotional fulfillment. Cancer, you, you made this happen by raising your vibration and by continuing to work on you, putting yourself first, growing, working, focusing on you, even if you lost this person or even if you and this person had to pull away from other people and just be alone in whatever it is you were working on. Food time and whatever it is you were working on. That watch and wait energy is basically you in that process, right? Like, you knew what it was going to lead to. You knew it was going to lead to your happiness and your success, no matter what this other person was doing and no matter what this group tried to do. You knew if you focused on you, you would see the, the fruits of your labor and you will, Cancer. You most definitely will, okay? Very nice. Let's see what else we get. And, you know, it's energy, guys. We all work through energy differently. So some of you are at the tail end of this. Some of you are at the beginning of this. So for those where you're more at the beginning, just know that it will pay off. Focusing on you, and your emotional needs is really going to help pay off here. Any other advice for cancers? Oh, so cute. Rabbit spirit. Oh. I don't know why they're telling me to tell you this. Some of you guys are the year of the rabbit. It's just, it's just confirmation for some of you. I don't know why they're telling me that, but they're telling me that. Now is a lucky time. 49 breaking down to four. This is about your foundation your foundation okay now is a lucky time is basically you can't do wrong right now uh the universe is on your side luck is on your side i'm hearing jupiter as well jupiter goes direct on the 11th so that energy of it going direct is starting to be felt now your efforts are going to pay off it's working on your favor you are very lucky you are very fortunate so just know that hold on to that for those who are struggling with that any advice for my cancers Oh, nice. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Okay. Let's 
say we have. Oh, I love it. I love it, Cancer. Brown Bear Spirit, take time out with the energy of nine. And then we have Wolf Spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. Uh, 67, that breaks down to another four. So you got two fours here, by the way. Again, more about your foundation and your stability. Brown Bear Spirit is kind of like a hermit mode. It's taking that pause, taking that time out to kind of be within, to hibernate, essentially. Hibernate, manifest, working on you, working on your emotional needs, your emotional fulfillment. In that brown bear spirit, you you gained a lot of wisdom. I feel like a lot of you are at the tail end of this. You've gained a lot of wisdom here, okay? Um, mm. Which is what's making it so easy for you to call people out and like really st straighten some shit out without people messing with your energy and messing with your vibe, okay? You're wiser. You're wiser. You've grown. This time alone that you've taken out for yourself is really what's best for you and really making you level up and really making you grow as a person. And you don't got to apologize for it, Cancer. You don't got to apologize for it. No reason to. Uh, overall advice. Oh, yeah. See, look at that. Lay a solid foundation. <laughs> Lay a solid foundation. Beaver spirit with the energy of six. I feel a lot of working energy in this, like actual work. So for some of you, like I said, you're just focusing on you and your career. And some of you, this relationship is business related, okay? But either way, you are working on you to build up your your foundation to keep growing as a person, to find your harmony with the energy of six. Find your balance, your harmony, and no one's going to take you away from that. And no one needs to be talking shit about you while you're doing it just because you're working on you and you, you don't got to apologize for shit. If they don't want to work on themselves and they just want to sit there and sit on their butt and hate on someone who is, let them. Let them be. Cut them out. People are always going to talk shit. People are always going to hate, but you don't have to apologize for it. You don't got to apologize for doing what you got to do, right? All right, Cancer. I love this reading. <laughs> I love this reading, by the way. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Bye, guys. Have a good week and a good night. Namaste.